to do that. <laughs> you heard Vilgax. Spread out. Find Ben Tennyson. Looks like it's hero time. Gumball? Huh? huh? Professor Paradox! Greetings all. Good to see you again. Or should I say in the future, it will be good to have seen you before. Time travel can make verb tenses so very confusing. When are we now, anyway? Vilgax is invading the Earth. Ah, splendid. Then I'm just in time to warn you that now is not the right time to use Alien X. What? Well, then when should I... Professor? Where did he go? You mean, when did he go? Does it matter? Vilgax is still invading. We've got to do something. Any time now, Tennyson. We'll be able to defend more ground if we split up. Go! Earth as you know it will no longer exist. The new age of Vilgax has begun. Nobody messes with my planet! Why do you even bother trying? You cannot win. Surrender, Ben Ten, and Vilgax may just spare your life. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so scared. Your days as a hero are over, Omnitrix Bearer. Think you've won? <laughs> Vilgax still reigns supreme! Just desert! No free refills for you!
No free refills for your damage! Rain's You want one group or two? Have a nice day. <laughs>
Plumber Intel has it that they're using the refinery here to create some special piece of alien tech for Vilgax. Identity unknown, purpose unknown. But if Vilgax wants it, you know it can't be good. You have to find and intercept that alien tech in the refinery before Vilgax shows up to get it. I'll be in touch. You heard the man. You guys, stay with ship. Uh-uh, no way, Ben. We're coming with you. If Vilgax does show up, it's gonna take all of you to hold him off. I hate when he's right. I'm going in. Would you look at what we have here? Why, I do believe it to be the mighty Ben Tan. Hey, can I float him up real good now, Octagon? Can I? You guys aren't as dumb as you look. You're dumber. Huh? Wait a minute. You shouldn't ought to have done that, boy. Now I'm mad. Well, I'm glad I finally got to see Wild Mutt's planet. I'm definitely ready to head back to Earth now. Let's go home. Wait! It's another plumber's badge. Ben, things are far more complicated than I thought. Plumber Intel has discovered that Vilgax is scouring the universe for a rare energy core. The kind that can power a null void projector. Like the one Vilgax used to take over the Earth. Is going to use. If we don't stop him... Plumber Intel hasn't determined what Vilgax plans to do with it exactly. At least you've kept him from being able to get one on Vulpin. Good job, Ben. But there are other places in the universe he can find this rare energy core. One is Terradino. I'm headed there now. Patch. Fire it up. Ben, I hope this message gets to you in time. Vilgax's forces have already taken over the planet Terradino as well. But as of this recording, they have not, repeat, not yet relayed the energy core from here to Vilgax. It's located in a nearby temple. That's all the intel I have. You've got to destroy this energy core, too, before Vilgax can get hold of it. But be careful. You guys better yeah, stay. Yeah, we know. Stay with ship, fight off Vilgax if he shows up, and basically save the day while you're off hero. Ah, sidekick's work is never done. Long time. How you been? <gasps> don't answer that. I don't really care. You've got a lot of nerve facing me, after what you did to my Uncle Hex. Don't underestimate me. I'm not ten years old anymore. You'll find I'm charming to the last. Go ahead. Take your best shot. Hey! Wait, Kevin, it's Ben! Sorry, dude. We thought you were Vilgax wrecking the temple. Is that what I think it is? I've got it. Ben, sorry I couldn't stay on Terradino longer. Urgent plumber business to attend to on Encephalonus 4. That's Brainstorm's home planet. I've always wanted to go there. Watch yourself. Your old enemy is here, and he's looking to get revenge on you. 
Who? I couldn't tell who he said. How many mortal enemies do you have, Tennyson? Uh... Better be ready for anything. a dozen times. I've got to figure out who's waiting for me. Maybe it's a really old message. Maybe Max said, Kevin Levin. Hey, it's not like it totally couldn't have happened in the old days. I'm just saying. We've got to stop Vilgax from getting an energy source for his null void projector here. Come on! It looks dangerous in there. Are you sure you don't want us to come with you? No, but if Vilgax shows up and you guys aren't out here to hold him off, I'm doomed anyway. Way to look on the bright side, Ben. I mean, good luck. We got your back. Ben Tennyson, my old friend. You've got to be kidding me. Surprised to see me here? How is your dear cousin, the lovely Gwen? Don't make me do this to you, Michael! Michael Morningstar is no more. You know me as Darkstar. Tennyson! Over here! Ben! Grandpa Max? I don't know how secure these messages are to you, Ben. I suspect my transmissions are being intercepted. I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to be able to be in contact with you. But you need to know this. Plumber Intel has it that the very last place in the known universe where one of these energy cores Vilgax is searching for can be found is Anerfatos. <gasps> What's Anerfatos again? Dude, you can't go there. You'll never get out alive. Why? What kind of planet is it? It's not exactly a planet. Yeah, it's more like an alternate dimension. That doesn't sound so bad. It's where Ghost Freak is from? Oh, that is bad. Tennyson! It's Vilgax! I know you are attempting to thwart me, but it won't work. I am on to you! And I will beat you to the remaining energy core. I dare you to brave the dangers of Anna Fatos. If you can even find your way there, that is. <laughs> Did you take a right where I told you to back there? Yes. Don't be a backseat driver. I'm only trying to help. Vilgax was right. We're never going to find our way to Anorphatos. I thought you said it wasn't a regular planet. It's interdimensional. Too bad none of us happen to be able to travel between dimensions. Ben! Gwen! Grandma? Kiddos! Look at you two. My, how you've grown. You never call. You never write. What are you doing here, Grandma? Why, your Grandpa Max asked me to help you get to Anarphatos, of course. Not just anybody can go there. It helps to be an energy beam. And away we go! <laughs> no. Grandma? What's happening to us? Interdimensional space warp. Nice. 
I can't see you guys anymore! Me neither! Don't get separated! Too late. Good luck, kiddos. So, we meet again, Ben Ten. Long have I waited. <laughs> uh, Ghost Freak! How? You're alive! Alive? Interesting word choice. You are in my domain now, foolish Ben Tennyson. <laughs> Any second now, I'm going to wake up. Ben 10, as I live and breathe. <laughs> Not. How unwise of you to venture here to Anothatos. It is the last mistake you shall ever make. I'm gonna defeat you or die trying. I mean, I'm just gonna defeat you. Forget that other part. Good thing you were able to track our mana and find us, Gwen. Now, if you could just find that grandmother of yours to get us out of here. Anything? Uh, uh-uh. Grandma Verdona is long gone. She could be anywhere in the universe by now. Great. So we're stuck here. After all we've just been through? No. We've got to get back to our own dimension. Somehow. We're running out of time. Did someone say time? Professor, Professor Paradox! Paradox! Boy, are we glad to see you. No time to dilly-dally. Back to your own dimension with you. Here we are, then. Oh, come now. Why the long faces? It's not the end of the world. Yet. Professor, our Grandpa Max's last message to us was intercepted by Bill Gates. Is he all right? Is he... Why, I just saw Max Tennyson a little while ago. <sighs> or rather... Maybe I have just seen him in the future. Gumball? No, thank you. Where is he? Where is who, dear? Grandpa, Grandpa Max! Max! Oh, him! Of course. Max Tennyson knew his last message to Ben was being intercepted by Vilgax. That's why he said Anna Phaetos had the last known rare energy core to try to throw Vilgax off. But, there is actually another way to generate the same power of said energy core. How? Only from the rarest, most valuable gem in the universe, Tadenite. The only major store of which, outside of Volcanus' stash, of course, ah, dude, is right this moment on the radioactive planet Morotesi, being experimented upon by someone who is creating an energy core with which Vilgax may very well take over the Earth. Not on my watch! Now, how do we find this guy? I say we split up. Cover more ground that way. Give me a second. I'll see if I can sense anything. I've been on Moritesi for a while now, working on an exciting new scientific breakthrough. How to extract a powerful energy from... Tatanite. Uh-oh. Who wants to break the bad news to him? What bad news? Cooper, we've heard about your experiment. What? How? It's top secret. Someone has been using you for your scientific genius and telekinetic mind. Again. But, my research! Your amazing scientific breakthrough is going to help Vilgax take over a whole bunch of planets, including the Earth. All my hard work. 
I'm sorry. <sighs> the Tate and I is being kept with the rest of my equipment in the Science and Technology Center where I've been working. I'd better not go with you, or it'll draw suspicion. But, maybe I can help you some other way. It's a good look on you. Is it my fault I'm stuck looking like you? Oh wait, it is! There's only room for one Omnitrix here. And yes, that would be mine. Say goodbye, Ben Tennyson. How did you guys get in here? Cooper. Gotta hand it to that kid. He is smart. Ben? It's another message from Grandpa. Must be a plumber's badge hidden around here somewhere. Or a plumber. Grandpa Max! You're here! I'm so proud of you kids. We did it, Grandpa. We stopped Vilgax from being able to invade the Earth. I only wish you were right. But he is right, Grandpa. We destroyed all the energy cores in the entire known universe. Game over. The Earth is saved. <laughs> all right! <laughs> What's wrong? There is another. Where? How? Impossible. We took them all out. You destroyed all the energy cores in the known universe, yes. But there's one more that's not in the known universe per se. It's so far off the beaten track that I can only hope nobody else knows about it besides me. How do you know about it then? Because if it turns out to be the energy core Vilgax gets his hands on to power his null void projector and take over the Earth, then the whole catastrophe is all my fault. Huh? The final energy core in existence is in my own stash of alien tech, in my old lair back when I was known as the Wrench, in the null void. You'll need this. What is it? It's called a skeleton key. Got it on the black market a while back. Level 12 alien tech. Whoa, I've heard of those things, but I didn't know they were real. What does it do? Get out of jail free card. Huh? It can transport you out of the null void prison dimension. Or into. I've been holding on to it in case of an emergency. And Vilgax succeeding in taking over the Earth definitely qualifies as an emergency. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! It's a small device with only enough power to teleport one person. Me. You're gonna need the energy core you find in there among my old stuff to power the skeleton key to get you home again. So don't destroy this one. Or you'll be trapped in the null void. Good luck, Ben. I know you can do this. The whole world is depending on you. No pressure. The Null Void is no place for amateurs, Ben Tennyson. You cannot avoid the Void. The Void, Dr. Animo, pick a name and stick with it, will ya? You imprisoned me here. Now, I shall return the favor. Bring it on. This works. I'm back. You did it. That was fast. What do you mean? Dude, you just left a second ago. Interesting. 
Grandpa Max? I brought you back something else you left in the Null Void. Best summer of my life. Ship. Nothing's changed. Oh no? Looks like Vilgax's Null Void projector is missing a little power. Of course! Because we went into the past and intercepted all the possible energy cores that would have allowed Vilgax to have one here now. No more creatures can come through the disabled Null Void projector. Uh, I hate to rain on your victory parade, people, but there are still plenty of creatures already here. Handle these. You go after Big Cats. Don't let him get away. Right. It's hero time. Is it evil in here, or is it just you? Ah. What if it isn't Ben Tennyson and his loyal lackeys? It's been a long time since you've been in my presence. How many times do I have to defeat you, Vilgax, before you get the hint? You're not going to stop my plans this time, Ben Ten. You and your precious planet are no more! Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna rue the day, blah blah blah. Can we fight now? Siphon, what are you doing here? Surprise! Vilgax beamed me back aboard right after you defeated me. Good thing, too. Hmm, I wonder what happens when you blast unfiltered null void energy directly at someone at close range. Kids, don't try this at home. I am a trained professional. Professor Paradox! I... No time, Ben. Now is the right moment. Alien X! Serena, if it isn't Ben Tennyson. Why, Bellicus, I propose that it is Ben Tennyson. Seconded. We don't have any time for your nonsense, you two. If you don't do what I say, the Omnitrix is going to be destroyed, with you in it. All in favor of being destroyed? Huh? Motion denied! We will not be destroyed! Too late! <laughs>
you go and do that for? Azmuth! But uh, I had to! The, the Earth and uh, Vilgax and the No Void Protector was- Relax, kid. You did good. That was some mighty fine Earth saving you did there. Kudos. I knew you were the right one to bear the Omnitrix. What I meant was, how did you know when to use Alien X? Timing is everything. Hmm. You're not gonna power it down again, are you? Are you kidding? <laughs> Silly Earthling. For saving the world, you don't get rebooted. You get rewarded. Oh yeah! It is seriously hero time now! 